हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज गुरुनाथा अ टेक्निकल डेवलपर एंड अ बी आई एक्सपर्ट एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन कंट्रोल फ्लो एंड डेटा फ्लो वी हैव चूजन दिस क्वेश्चन इज जस्ट बिकॉज दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली आस interview question so those who are applying for jobs for bi jobs i request that watch this video completely and understand the differences and those who are newbies to bi for them also this is very useful to understand the differences between control flow and data flow so without wasting any time further let's get started so as you can see friends i am i am in my ssis package here as you can see this is my package 1 and when i open this package 1 .dtsx i can see a tabs here called control flow data flow parameters event handlers and package explorer so in this video our focus should be on control flow and data flow so the first and foremost difference between the control flow and data flow is that in a package okay that is package 1. dtsx in a in a package in ssis package we can have only one control flow and we can have multiple data flows so how it is possible because it is possible you can see here we have a component called data flow task yes so if you see when i when i go to my data flow here i cannot see any data flow here and it is saying that no data flow task has been added to this package so it is clear that we have to go to the control flow and from here only we can add the data flow task here so how to add that just drag and drop here like this now when i double click on it now you can see that we can see the complete data flow here and we can see the toolbox also accordingly now if i want multiple data flow that is also possible just go here and drag and drop multiple data flow here now we have we are into the data flow task 1 as you can see the name here and here when i click here we are into the data flow task yes you can rename them accordingly okay so it is clear that in a package we can have one control flow and multiple data flows and data flow is a part of control flow here in ssis package and ssis toolbox as you can see so in a control flow toolbox we have a data flow task component by using that component we can have multiple data flows now coming to the second differences ssis toolbox components as you can see friends now we are in the control flow and when we go to the ssis toolbox here now here you can see the different components and when we go to the data flow here here you will see a different components so when we are in the data flow you can find ssis toolbox designed as per the data flow and when we go to the control flow here ssis is toolbox is designed as per the control flow so if you see the control flow components are divided into the three parts that is the task components as you can see here these are these are the task components then the containers you can see the containers here then finally the precedence constraint precedence constraints is nothing but the arrow you can see so this is the arrow is called as precedence constraint and this arrow help us to connect between the components so these components are also called as workflow components you can say also called as logic components you can say because here you do more of a non etl activity so this components are also called as non etl activity components you can see we have the script components we have the execute package components we have file system components we have bulk insert task components all these are non etl activity 
नॉन ईटीएल एक्टिविटी मीन्स द एक्टिविटी विच इज रिलेटेड टू मोर ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ डेटा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ डेटा एंड लोडिंग टू द डेटा वेर हाउस डेटा ओके सो दीज कॉम्पोनेंट्स आर मोर स्पेसिफिक टू द प्रोसेस ओरिएंटेड वर्क फ्लो ओरिएंटेड एज यू कैन सी वी हैव द एफ टी पी टास्क हेयर वी हैव द फाइल सिस्टम टास्क हेयर वी कैन एग्जीक्यूट द मल्टीपल पैकेजेस एंड हेयर बाय यूजिंग द स्क्रिप्ट टास्क वी कैन राइट द स्क्रिप्ट कमांड्स here by using the data flow task we can command multiple data flows here here we can write the sql command also by using this component so these are more of a workflow components or i can say non etl activity components okay so that's why these components are present in the control flow here now if we go to the data flow here here you will find more of a etl activity components for example here we have the source components as you can see here so these source components are helpful to extract the data then we have the destination components here these destination components are help us to load the data to the data warehouse then we have the common components and the transform components which are nothing but a, a components which are useful for transformation purpose that is data type transformation we can remove the erroneous data we can sort the data we can merge the data we can look up the data we can derive the new columns we can do the multicast we can write the sql command we can do the incremental load all this etl activity we can do in the data flow tab here as you can see here yes so we can do everything which is related to data here in the data flow and whatever the work process related task are there we can do in the control flow or i can say a non etl activity we can do in the control flow tab here okay so friends these are the differences between the control flow and data flow hope you like the video in case if you have any doubts or any queries please post your doubts and queries in the below comment section i will be very happy to respond your queries and doubts so thank you very much friends see you in the in our next video